Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at applying filters and transitions to the timeline and the different ways that Lightworks allows you to do that. We'll be looking at drag and drop from the effects palette, applying to marked regions and even direct access to the effects from the timeline right click menu. We're even going to have a look at node based video routing using the Lightworks video routing panel. The sequence is a quick 10 second title sequence. You can download the coffee dialogue editing exercise directly from the website and you can have a go at building this yourself. Let's have a quick look at this sequence because that's what we're going to build in a moment. So let's break that down. From the top we fade in the audio and the video from black. The black and white clips in the background are on V2. I've cropped them and added a contrast preset. Then we've got the coffee title overlay using a burn and that's combined with a shot of a candle to get the coffee title sequence burnt through with a blend with the candle. Text has got motion in it and then it fades to the producer. Across the top of the whole piece I put a light glow on this top effects track. You can just about see this here just to add some extra interest. We've also got some dissolves on the clips in the background as we go along. Okay so let's break it all down and start from the beginning and you can follow too if you like. First of all, on V1, I've added a little selection of snippets from the edit itself. Just a few reaction shots from through the story. What I want to do is make them all black and white with a touch of extra contrast from an S-curve. First of all, open the effects panel. Press the effects button on the timeline. I'm going to go to my color presets. I want to use black and white, increase contrast number one. What I want to do is apply it to all the shots on V1 in one go. To do that, if you go to the apply to menu and choose matching clips we get some extra options. In the drop down menus you can choose extra parameters to select your target clips. It's a great function for the batch application of effects. In this case I'm going to use the real number that equals real number one. All these shots here I've modified the real field and I know they're from real number one now. Press add you'll see the little purple effect square has arrived on every single clip and they've all been processed. Next I want to add a second video track for another layer. If you right click on the edit monitor choose add tracks, one video track, press add. It's the candle shot that's going to be embedded inside the title graphics. I've marked this section down at the bottom here for the exact range of my sequence. I'm just going to pick that up from the bin and drag and drop it using default replace mode straight to V1. Now we have our foreground video ready for processing. I'm going to close away the bins now. Onto the candle track from my mixes section. I'm going to drag and drop the mask blend. The mask blend is going to combine the foreground candle and the background black and white image through a title graphic. Click and drag and drop that to candle on V1. The effects settings panel opens with tabs for the effects on V1, our mask blend, and V2 for the background image. For now I'm going to close away the add effects panel. We're going to do things in a slightly different way. On the effects settings panel press the video routing button. The video routing panel opens. In the video routing panel on the left hand side we can see our entire effects suite, the same as the effects panel, and we also see the way the video tracks are connected to their effects. So here you can see on V2 our background layer goes into the color correction, click it, you can turn it on and off for the black and white layer and that goes into the background of the mask blend. The foreground is the candle shot going to the foreground. I'm going to zoom out slightly on this display by clicking the edge of the horizontal slider just so we can see a bit more detail. Let's set up the title graphics to the effects, down to titles, pick up the static title effect, drag and drop it and place it on your routing panel. Now it's not connected at the moment so let's connect it. My output is here, click the output and connect that to the mask input on the mask blend. Default text of Lightworks will appear on the screen. Now the processing is through the title graphics 
using the candle media as the internal colour and it's overlaid against our background. Let's set up the title graphics. To your effects settings panel, set the blend mode to dodge. Add the title text, coffee. I'm going to use a typeface down the bottom called Varni. I'm going to set the size to 0 0.9. I'm also going to drop it down a bit on the Y positioning. Go to the position tab. I'm going to use 78%. Let's apply the crop to the whole piece now. To the effects browser, vignette and crop. I'm going to pick up the cine crop. We could drag and drop directly to the segment on V1. Alternatively, you can apply effects by dragging and dropping to the edit monitor. If I release that there, it's applied to the top layer. And there it is arrived on our final output. The DVE. Off. On. I'm going to keyframe some horizontal motion on the coffee text. To do that, go to the position tab, X parameter, turn on the keyframes. Make sure you're at the top of the piece on the first keyframe. Here's your keyframe track at the bottom. First keyframe is going to be 85% on the right. Step to the end keyframe. Start and end keyframes there by default. I'm just going to move that to fade out about there. Now the graphic moves from right to left. While we're keyframing, I'd like to fade this in for two seconds at the start and fade it out for two seconds at the end. Go to the font tab, enable keyframes on opacity, make sure you're on the first keyframe, set the opacity to zero. Let's jump forward two seconds. I'm going to use the time code field. Type in 200, press enter. And now we'll set the opacity to 100%. Jump to the end keyframe. This opacity is going to be zero. Two seconds before that, it's going to be 100%. So I'm going to use my time code field. Type in 08. Press enter. That take two seconds off the piece there. Opacity here, it's going to be full. Just move the slider, and the keyframe will be entered. So now we've got that fade in and the fade out. Now I want to have two titles in this piece, one that says coffee and one that says by Robert Riff. To split our effect into two titles, I'm going to turn off all my tracks, apart from V1, and press C on the keyboard to add a cut point on V1. There it is. Now we've got our effect across the piece. Keyframe timing has actually been compressed across this segment. And we've got the identical piece on the right. I've been parked on the right hand segment. I can now change the text. Back to your settings panel by Robert Riff. Now that text is rather large. I'm going to set its size to 0.45, so that's done. So now we've got Coffee by Robert Riff. And what I want to do is blend with a dissolve in between these two sections. You can add effects by using the timeline context sensitive right click menu. To add a dissolve on V1, right click exactly on the cut and you'll see the transitions menu at the top. I'm going to use 75 frames, positioned, centered. I'm going to add a dissolve. You do have other options here as well. Choose dissolve. Now, have coffee, fading out, fading in to Robert Riff. Now I'd like to have a couple of dissolves on these cuts in the background. We'll have one here and one over here. Stepping back to the cut on V2, accurately locate that with the jump backwards button on the monitor. I'm going to open up my effects browser panel, go to the mixes section, I'm just going to turn off V1, so we'll apply 15 frame dissolve, centered press add. The dissolve is added. I'm going to do the same up on this cut point on V2. 
But this time, with those settings we've just used, I'm going to pick up the dissolve, drag and drop, and position that, ending at the cut, centered, or starting at the cut. Again, I'm going to choose centered, and that's done. If you want to remove or modify these dissolves, if you go back to one of them, right click, you can remove, access the settings, or replace with another transition. Transitions can be trimmed like regular video. If you want to trim the length of these dissolves, let's say for example I want to add 10 frames on this side, if you hold down the Alt key to go into single track trim mode, click on the cut point, in this case I'm going to use my frame nudge, press plus on the keyboard, 10, do it. Jump 10 frames forward, press the join button. OK, I need to add a fade in and a fade out on V2 at the start and the end of the piece, and also fade in the audio. Let's go to the top. You can right click right at the top of the piece. I'm going to add 25 frame fade in, starting here, dissolve. That's been added there. For the audio, right click on the audio track, add crossfade, 25 frames from here, and the audio crossfade is added there as well. Going to the end, we can also do that using the effects panel. We're going to use two here, 25 frames, I need to deselect V1, press add. And for the audio, back to the end, turn off V2, 25 frame audio crossfade, 2 here, press add. Re-enable the tracks. We're going to add another layer, a glow layer, to highlight the titles, also to add some coloured glow to the background. To do that, I'm going to use mark section. Go to the top of the piece, mark an endpoint, go to the end of the piece and park. I'm going to simply go to my effects palette on the routing panel, stylize, glow. I can just pick that up, drag and drop it into the monitor, and that'll add FX1 track across the whole piece. And there'll be some glow introduced. There it is, you can see it there. And also on the coffee cup in the background. We've quickly set up the glow parameters because I want a tint to that. Tolerance, 38. Feathering, 56. Size, 4.5. Strength, 100. For the glow tint, my RGB is 90, 53, 0. Color value, 35. And that's done. Quick run through, see how we're looking. So that's all done. We hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.